Good morning, campers. I fell in love with an emo girl. I fell in love with an emo girl. So, it's my birthday. Turning 15. Cause when you're 15 and somebody tells you they love you, you gonna believe them. Yeah, I basically want to share gifts I got, but also I'm gonna be ranking Harry's house. I'm gonna start with, with what Cindy got me. It's a Will Byers Funko Pop that we found at the thrift store. And I was like, oh my gosh. Will's my favorite Stranger Things character. And this Funko Pop's just sitting here. And it's the Ghostbusters costume one. So cute. These balloons are annoying me. Two gifts I got from Abby. First one I knew about. The second one I also knew about, but I didn't know that I was getting it. I just knew of it existing in Abby's possession. But the first gift is the Taylor Swift Speak Now World Tour book, which is a big sleigh. This performance slayed. It's they she literally put on a wedding. She like made one of her dancers dress up as a bride and it was like really cool. And then the second part of the gift is the Harry Styles Better Homes and Gardens magazine that everyone's been fighting over. Moving on to what Nico got me. Marvel band-aids. A little Harry's House bracelet. So true. Another Funko Pop. This was a surprise. I was not expecting this. Um, it's a Kate Bishop Funko Pop. <laughs> That's such a big... That's a win. I need to stop saying Big Slay. Gigi Hadid said Big Slay at the Met Gala, and now I haven't stopped saying it. But anyway, it's Kate Bishop. Kate Bishop. She is so cool. I love her. Okay, and then the last thing. Speaking of Will, I got Stranger Things socks, which this brings up a point that I want to talk about of how good the Stranger Things merch is. It's so fire. Now I'm gonna get into the album ranking. Let's go. My ranking is here. So, I really like this album. I really do. I think it's a very, like, lots of vibes. I'm gonna go through my ranking, go from my least favorite to my most favorite, and talk about it a little bit. Number 13, cinema. <laughs> so, here's the thing. A lot of people love cinema, and I don't think it's bad it's just like i can't <laughs> i think his voice in it sounds great but i just i can't you know what i mean number 12 daydreaming so i've heard a lot of people like really praising daydreaming and i was like oh really this is the one that we like because it wasn't bad, it was just like, I was like, this is a skip. That's what it was. I feel like it'll probably grow on me. Yeah, it'll probably grow on me. I just, I really like lyrics. I love, I love a lyric. And so like cinema, the whole end of the song was like, just, you got, you got the cinema. You got like, it's, and then daydreaming is a lot of just like the chorus, I guess. So yeah, that's, that's that. Number 11 is As It Was. I'm so sorry. <laughs> as It Was. This is getting into the territory of like songs that I really do like love. Daydreaming and Cinema are like, these are good. Like I respect them. But these are like, from here on up, I love these songs. As It Was, it's like, when I'm listening to it, I'm having a good time and it gets stuck in my head sometimes but it's like when I'm not listening to it I'm not like oh I need to listen to as it was I'm never in the mood to listen to as it was you know what I mean so that's why it's there yeah and number 10 late night talking kind of in the same boat but it's just a little bit more of a vibe to me oh this late night talking about anything you wanna like it's good it's good yeah um okay number nine love of my life love of my life has grown on me a lot since three days ago when the album was released i at first was like i was really confused thematically about what was going on because harry said it was about london 
and then like listening to it and listening to the words i was like confused about how it was like i was confused about the connections but i feel like i'm getting it a little bit more now especially since for a while i thought it the lyric was you are the love of my life and now i know it is you were the love of my life i there's nothing i love more than a sad last track on an album number eight is daylight this song's a vibe like a whole bob i really like daylight i like i was nose nose bleeding looking for life out there you got me crossing the daylight it's good oh <laughs> when it like when the beat drops and it's like <laughs> Seven is Boyfriend. I really like this song. So number six is music for a sushi restaurant. Did I think I was gonna like this as much as I did? No, I did not. It's so good. It's so good. Oh my the part where he's like, um I don't even remember how good it was like if the stars were edible and our hearts were never full. It was something to taste, I don't know. That's fire. Number five. Okay, we're getting into our top five here. Why are there so many planes? What is okay. Number five is grape juice. This song is so good and a lot of people are have it underrated. Dude, the the beginning of it when he goes one, two, three, two, 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 two. that is so good. And then it's it's about like, what does he say? Oh my god, I was on my way to buy some flowers for you. Like, shut up, that's so good. Number four is Keep Driving. This song is a bop. And this is goes into more of like the melon, I can't say that word, um, but like the underlying messages with like, the happy production and like the lyrics and like the underlying stuff really good and i love the whole vibe of it being like all the stuff going on around them but like should we just keep driving it's a vibe um number three uh little freak did okay so we were expecting kiwi when we heard this title we were expecting kiwi like i think everyone was it did <laughs> It did not give Kiwi. My immediate reaction when I heard this song was like, oh my gosh, this sounds like Mum by Luke Hemmings. I love that song. And the chorus, the chorus is literally like the same. It's like the same. Not in like a copying way, but like in a like, it's just, it's, the vibes are so similar and it's so great. Two is Satellite. That's really all I have to say. It's just like, and then when it gets into the chorus, and it's like, yeah, it's good. And number one, as we could probably assume, is Matilda. I have been talking about this song nonstop. I've been playing it nonstop. I love Matilda so much. It's just so good. So, yeah. This is my official ranking of Harry's house. Hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye from me and Harry.